Hey guys, welcome to another WoW video. And for today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get Otto. He is a cute otter mount and pretty much the entire thing is done through fishing. To start out to get this guy, you will be coin farming. This is your major farm of this guy. Once you're done this part, everything else is pretty fast. But the coins is uh, based on some RNG, and if that RNG fails you, you're forced into copper coins. So basically how this works is you fish near these big lunker points. I've got it, uh, I've got a arrow going towards them. And you can group up, you can be solo, it doesn't matter. Um, harpooning is kind of the way when you're grouped up, uh, just so everyone has a chance to get it. If you don't have access to the harpoon, because you do need to be renowned seven to, um, have access there. Uh, so if you don't have access to that, then you can just fish it up or kill. But if you're going to kill, I would do that solo, um, Group members may get a little upset if you just go in there killing stuff. Uh, as for these threshers, how they're coming out is, well, there's a couple of ways. People can loot conches. So you throw them out. Every five gets used and it'll bring one out. And then the most popular way that I was bringing them out was I would just be fishing. And because I just looted one, not even using it, it would bring out a thresher. So yeah, there's lots of achievements you can get through doing this as well. And you can get some profession recipes. I got quite a chunk of profession recipes while farming these coins. So how the coins work is if you luck out and get a gold coin, which I actually did near... It was kind of near the end. I was down to probably like my last hour of farming copper coins. Uh, so, so I still have all those copper coins on me. But if you luck out and get the gold coin, you're set. You can leave, go do the next step. Uh, but if you don't luck out, your other options is either you get 75 copper coins so that you can trade them in for silver coins which you trade the silver coins in for gold, or your other option is getting the silver coins. So basically you would need either 75 copper coins or five silver coins or one gold coin. And if you have um, either of those, there is a vendor where you can swap them out. So if you had like five silver coins, you could stop this farm, go to the vendor, and swap them out for um for your gold. So so that's how that works. The copper coins are common. I would say I was getting a copper coin, I don't know, maybe every three or four. You know, it, it wasn't too too terribly rare. A uh, silver coin, I actually never got a silver coin, which is hilarious because I did get a gold one, which is the most rare. Uh, but I would say silver is like a little more on the rare side and gold is extremely rare. So, uh, so that's kind of where your RNG lies. Okay, so now we are over in Anarin Plains. I'll open up the map. So we, I flew over to Pinewood Post. That's probably the best flight path. You can see the gold coin icon. That's where our vendor is. So the Great Swag. So we're going to be able to skip a step here because I got the gold coin. But if you didn't luck out and fish up the gold coin, this is still where you go. Just the step we're skipping is trading in all our, you know, copper and silver to get a gold coin. We, we no longer need to do that. Okay, so this is our cave. You can see there's lots of stuff on here. Uh, that's stuff that you can get 
from the bag. You know, if you're after everything, not just the mount, um, this whole ordeal is quite a farm for you. If you didn't luck out to get the gold one, you will need to use 15 copper to get silver. You're going to need five silver to get a gold coin, which means you need 75 copper to get your five silver to turn that into a gold coin because it takes the five silver. So that's how that's done. Okay, goodbye gold coin. Okay, so there's our immaculate sack of swag treasure. Open it up. And we got a few items. So we got the shades and uh, a gem and awakened order. So you definitely can get some, some profession materials from this stuff too. Okay, so now that we have the aquatic shades, we are on our next step, which is to obtain the empty fish barrel. So we are heading to the bubble bath, um, which is the dive bar off of the coast of Waking Shores. Okay, so just fly to the Obsidian Throne. You can see the icon on my map where we're going. It looks like the mount. So just above Obsidian Citadel there. Okay, looks like a little beach party. A little ladder going up. <laughs> looks like a cozy place. So I haven't applied the shades yet, so we might have to apply the shades to see the dance floor, maybe? Okay, so there's the shades. Okay, so now we'll just equip them. Okay, we have the shades on. Okay, so for this next part, this one took me a little bit. Um, but to make it easier on you guys, it's in the water. So you're, you're not looking, you're not looking for this area in particular. Oh, where were we? Uh, right here. You're looking in the water. So we're just going to go in the water. And there you can see the um, the dance pad. There's uh, there's some cool stuff in here. Okay, and you just instantly dance on it. So this is the debuff you're gonna get. It's it's, it's called Dance Dance Till You're Dead. And uh, yeah, and you can see we just have three minutes remaining on it. Once that three minutes remaining is done, we're gonna pass out. And we'll wake up near the uh, Hissing Grotto, uh, which is just kind of a, above us. And there'll be a barrel there, and we're going to click the barrel. So while we have two minutes on us, let's... Uh... Oh, do you have to... You have to stay. Oh, you have to stay on it. Okay, hold on. Hold on, then. I just want to... Um check out this area and then we'll we'll just redo that part i was hoping i could move around so we got some dancers over here big fish guy oh this is a vendor right here Let's see what he's got on him knowledge is the best currency but i do take gold and interesting trade-ins just some, um, just some mediocre stuff. <laughs> just alcoholic beverages and stuff. And then we got this area here. There's some pretty cool stuff. Oh, there's like a net down here. It's a very cool little uh, area. I, I like it. Okay, that is pretty much what that is. So let's go back to our dancing 
and we have to restart the debuff. So we're back at five minutes. And um, yeah, so just stay on the dancing pad for five minutes, wait for it to expire, and then we will, you know, we'll pass out and wake up at the Hissing Grotto. Okay, so here we are. Barrel's right in front of us. And that completes that part. Okay, so now we are on to some fishing. Uh, this might sound like a lot of work, but this part actually didn't take too long. So you're going to be going after three types of fish. Right now I am in Ascara right in town so you can do this by standing right in town and we are fishing up 100 frigid flow fish from Ascara and this one was really easy 100 sounds like a lot but I was getting them almost every cast so very good drop rate with the frigid flow fish once you have 100 of those types of fish, you're going to click your empty barrel. And by doing so, that's going to create a half-filled fish barrel. And then at this point, you're moving on to your next location. The next fish that you'll be catching is the Calamitous Carp Fish. This one's a little more on the rare side of things. You're gonna fish this up near Obsidian Citadel. So that's out in Waking Shores. So go out there. I have opened up my map for this one because I found like you fish this one out lava, but there was one lava section that really nothing was coming out of. And then the minute I moved to this one, uh, I was getting them a lot more frequently. So for coordinate users, I am currently fishing at 3165 out in the Waking Shores. And you'll need 25 of those. It took me roughly 25 to 30 minutes to fish up these. Uh, if you had some fishing gear worth perception, it might be a little quicker. But overall, like I don't because I love my fishing pole and you can only have like one thing on your fishing so because of that I just always keep my artifact fishing pole in that uh, spot it still went pretty quickly for me so I would say that one went really well so once you have all 25 of your calamitous carp you're gonna do just what you did with the last one you'll open up your bags click the barrel and your barrel will now become a brimming fish barrel. And then we just move on to our final fish. Okay, so here's the King Finn, the Wise Whisker fish. I was surprised in how quick I got it. Um, this one is definitely pure RNG because I muted sound, which is why you didn't hear it actually any sound when I fished it up. I muted it because people were saying it takes upwards to two hours. So I threw a show on and muted the recording and we have not been here for very long. Yeah, my show's only been going for like 10 minutes. So definite RNG. Good chance I lucked out here. But I will say that this one could take you anywhere from instantly to a couple of hours. Uh, of course, if you have like perception gear on, that helps. I did all of these fish without perception gear. I only use my artifact fishing pole when it comes to fishing because, well, there's only one slot, right? And I, I like my fishing pole, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, pure RNG, but we have it. We can now add this to the barrel, which is our last step. After that, we just go back put the barrel down and we get our mount. So let's do that. Okay. 
Build the barrel. Okay, now we have overflowing a fish barrel. You can see on the tooltip it's saying we just head back to where we picked up the barrel and place this new barrel down on the ground. Uh, also worth noting that you can see I did this without the glasses. The, as far as I can tell, the only thing you needed the glasses for was the dancing part. Um, mine have faded through this fishing. And yeah, so you don't, you don't need to have the glasses on for the fish. It doesn't improve your chances or anything. Um, but I do want to put them back on for this part because if you're wearing the glasses, then you'll see Otto wearing the glasses. And uh, that's the whole reason I'm going after this mount is because this guy can wear the glasses. Okay, so there's our overflowing fish barrel. Just click it to put it on the ground. Oh, there he is. He's got the shades on. Very nice, very nice. I love it. And there's our mount. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna go over here so there's less, uh, less interruptions because I, I absolutely like, normally I don't care when people come up beside me while I'm doing a video, but in uh, Dragonflight I care very much because the dragon riding mounts are loud as fuck. They go off randomly. <laughs> and yeah, so I uh, prefer to not have them near me while I'm recording. So we're just going to chill over here, learn our mount. And I put the sunglasses on my bars here because when we, uh, when we take him out, I want to see him with shades. So, but I guess I could show you him both ways. Not, uh, I guess not everyone's going to always want to click their shades, right? Here's Otto without the shades. Very cute. I do like all the fish <laughs> on him. Okay, and now I'm gonna just uh, dismount. We're gonna put the shades on and bring him back out. And there you go. There he has the shades on. I I love that. Like, that's that's how he's going to look whenever I'm on him. Yeah. I think he's a very cool mount for the sole fact that he's wearing shades. Yeah. And he's supposedly a water mount as well. So we'll just go run into the water. Yeah, he's he's got the swim speed going on, so he's 100% like an actual water mount. Very nice, very nice. Okay guys, so that calls it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Good luck going after the auto mount. Overall, I thought this was a pretty easy one to go after. Uh, all it really requires is fishing. The time consumption definitely would be the coins, but after you've done the coins part, everything seemed really easy. Have a great one, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.
拜。